I had quite a lot of interest in one of my videos where I made these fuel pucks. I'm going to put a link in the description, not because I'm after loads of views, but just because it makes more sense. If you're interested, just watch the video and it'll explain what I've done and it'll save me waffling too much. Basically what they are is pill bottle stone stove pucks. Um, I've seen as a chap on Esty, um, he makes them and sells them. So I decided to make my own. And what they are, they're simply made out of these, which are vermiculite bricks. They are for pizza ovens, etc. I got a bit carried away and um, I bought a whole box of them. So if anybody's got any ideas what I can do with the rest, let me know in the comments. You can see from this, you can make them um, any shape and size you want. I made this to go inside a BCB cooker. Obviously you're limited to the depth, but you can double them up. Remember, you don't have a lot of width to play with. So it doesn't really work if you put a pot on top. You'll need to actually put them in something and then you're good to go. A thing to bear in mind with these is that they act like a sponge. So when you pour your alcohol in, they kind of suck it all up and that fuels it. And then when you light it, the fuel gets released. So that's why I bought these little containers, which I thought were absolutely brilliant. And made, made the puck or the pill bottle, stone stove or whatever it is. I made it to fit inside so there's no wastage so then you fill it up let it absorb all the alcohol and when you're ready to go you just tip it out and there's no mess this brings me on to the point of today's video i had a question from Tabor 247 which was a very good and valid question. I'll just read it out to you quickly. He said, hi, I do not see any advantage of this type of stove over a fire felt filled tin stove. Perhaps you'll consider doing a comparison. And I actually agree with you, Tabor. I think this is a bit gimmicky and there's no real reason why, in my opinion, you would go out and either buy these or make them yourself over any of these type of alcohol stoves. So I'm gonna get all technical now, or as technical as I'm ever gonna get on this channel. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put 30 milliliters of alcohol in my little measuring cup, and I'm gonna unscientifically put 30 mil in there, 30 mil in there, there and there. Take them outside, I'm gonna light them up. I'm only going to do a duration burn test. I'm not going to do any kind of boil test or anything because it'll bore the pants off of you. This is basically just to say, this is what happens when you put the alcohol in and how it lasts and how it burns and, and nothing more. You'll also be able to see how long, oop, there we go, this takes to absorb. So we've got 30 mil. Oh, is it too much? We actually don't need 30 mil. That might soak in. Hopefully you can see from this where I filled it up. This is gradually going to absorb alcohol. We're two and a half minutes in and you might be able to see that the alcohol has been absorbed and we're down to this amount. Slowly, slowly getting absorbed. I'm going to top him up now with the rest of the alcohol. Go on. That's 30 mil. I'm just going to leave him. I'm not sure how well you can see this, but there was lots of air bubbles coming out. That's where the air is getting expelled and the alcohol is being absorbed. We're five minutes in. I'm getting really bored with this now. I'll come back later. We're nearly 20 minutes in. I think I've overcooked it a bit. 
with the 30 milliliters. So what I've done, I've reduced the amount to 25 milliliters or an ounce and I'll just fill up the others. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna take them outside, set fire to them, and then you can compare what they look like and if you think it'll work for you. By the way, in case you're wondering, this is a, a speedster stove. I think it's 30 mil. This is another speedster stove. They make them in the UK. There's lots of things are similar. This one's got the wick in. I think that's about 50 mil wide. And then we got the standard Trangier. So I thought it'd be interesting just to compare Obviously, there's a whole range of alcohol stoves out there. They'll take different amounts of liquid, etc. But if I go for the same amount in all of these, set fire to them, you can see how long they're going to last and how they perform. I deliberately left these outside without any wind protection just to show you what happens if you've got a slight breeze unfortunately 25 milliliters or an ounce of alcohol in a trounger wasn't sufficient to get him going that left us with these three you can see from earlier that i drenched this i soaked it i gave it as much alcohol as i possibly could i gave it plenty of time to soak in lit it and it was a big disappointment so in conclusion is it worth making or buying these in my opinion absolutely not stick to your standard alcohol stoves and you won't go far wrong Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Info shout out.